Tomoya. Hey, Tomoya. Daddy's home. <laughs> Look at this. I got a present for you. <laughs> Come on, eat it up. You don't get sushi this good every day. Who cares? I don't want any. Uh, what? You're drunk. Forget the sushi and go to bed. Come on, just eat it. I told you I don't want any, okay? Tomoya! <laughs> welcome so, to the Cosmat3.org podcast. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> you guys. Excellent. Oh god. <laughs> if, if you're just tuning in, then um, this is um, our podcast we do every month to cover all the latest news and happenings in Key and our community. Um, don't mind that intro. <laughs> no, do mind it. Do mind, do mind it then. So, um, with me today, we've got the usual, we got um, Biscuit Dough. What up, what up? As, starring as Timo. <laughs> Um, yeah. We got um, Link Thinks. Hello. Rune Devros. Hello. Pepe. Hi, everyone. And myself, Aspiry. So, um, this month we've got quite a lot to talk about. It's been a massive month for key news, and um, so this podcast probably going to go a little bit longer than the other ones. We'll um, kind of just see how we go, and you know. We're not gonna like center ourselves too heavily, so whatever discussion comes of it will come. But um, yeah, so expect a lot of content in this episode. So um, yeah, so first we had the um Clanad Kickstarter, and um, the our goal for funding was um, does anyone remember how much? Uh, anyway, like a hundred and forty thousand dollars. Yeah, so that's like a huge number already, but it somehow managed to get completely funded in. 14 hours, which is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I think we all totally expected it to do it. well, but we... I don't, I don't think many of us expected it to do that well, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I didn't expect and... to go to uh, wake up and have it instantly funded when I got out, got out of <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, that was nuts, man. I had it literally... Was... It started... Um, I had just gotten off work, man, and I was on my way home, and people were talking about it, and I was like, oh, you know, crap, man, I gotta get home, and get in on this get my 1k tier in there and obviously that didn't happen yeah that that, that went out in like an hour didn't it it went out in a couple minutes uh. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy it was like it was like i think it was 10 minutes or something someone had tweeted uh, i was like getting out of my car to walk into my house and i was looking at my oh, phone shit. the whole time and it was like oh yeah <laughs> 10 minutes and all the 1k tiers are gone i'm like what come on so how much did everyone end up pledging in the end I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, do, I, just, I just put 60 bucks. $50. I went with uh, 110 225 <laughs> You guys are just making oh, me feel really big bad. Spender. But um, I'll, I'll put in more with backer kit, don't worry. <laughs> like, I got most of the stuff except for the t-shirt, because I decided I didn't want to wear a t-shirt like that. <laughs> Wow, yeah. dude. I'm gonna wear that shit, like, every day. Seriously? I, I... <laughs> I don't know. It's not my thing. No, I'm not gonna wear it, because I don't want to destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I got it. reason a... I don't wear my mini shirt. But you did get the, um, 1k tier, didn't you, Biz? I did. And I also bought a computer on the same day that they <laughs> took my, uh, they took my $1,000. So in yeah. the span of about an hour, I lost $1,500 that took me three months yeah. to make up. <laughs> worth, worth it. it. Worth yeah, it. Totally worth it. So worth it. Feels so good, man. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I've been I'd a long time coming. I would have wanted to do the 1000 honestly, but just, I didn't have the money at the time. And I mean, the only reason I did it is because, like... I said, I'm kind of new to all this <laughs> fandom and stuff, and so, like, I missed out on a lot of shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So, with this coming into play, I feel like it's finally my turn to actually give back and, and do something to to help yeah. out and also get a lot of sweet stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so I was just uh, kind of like, yep, yeah, I'm doing it. Like, I'm the just second gonna... they announced that I'm like, 1K, I'm doing it. I'm in. I'm just praying that they do a Little Busters <laughs> Kickstarter at some point. I'll do that one too. Because I'll be ready for the thousand tier of that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that for, for me rewrites my I'm going all in. Yeah, yeah. I'm going all in, I'm rewrite. 
Hell yeah. I don't know. I don't even have the money. I feel bad. But <laughs> anyway, I'd like to see any of those any of those come out. I'll be happy, you know. But yeah, just Oh yeah, Cash and Matt Zerby. <laughs> So, like, just to wrap up, like, all the developments, so, it, um, it was funded in 14 hours, and then Sakai Project was basically like, well, now what? And so, after, like, a, stretch cu- goals. a couple of weeks, yeah, they finally developed some stretch goals, and by the time we found out about them, the first one had already been met, which was the HD assets. Yep. <laughs> That's the thing I'm most excited about. Just, um, because this basically makes this the definitive version of Clan Art. Like a perfect edition, but actually yeah. better because it's HD. You know, that's um something True. like the Western market appreciates a lot more than the Eastern market. I feel for some reason I don't know why. Just being able to play it in HD would be awesome, mm-hmm. and I'm really looking forward to that. And um, the other two stretch goals we got were the side stories, which is um never before been translated into English. And um, we also have the um, all-new exclusive um, Clannad manga that will be coming out in English in the West before anywhere else for this Kickstarter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Woohoo. Yay. That anthology is going to be so sweet. What, and what the artist again? I know there was Zen. Mis- Misaki Jury. Misaki Jury, who, who did the... Did the Tomoyo after of, stuff? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> Yep. And, um, I forgot the last one. <laughs> I should have it here. She got added on, like, really late. Yeah. Anyway, but, like, we've, we've done so many articles about that, just covering all the latest, and we'll probably continue to do so. And, um, so yeah, it's over now, in case you didn't know. The, the, um, it's we all been, all the pledges have been t- collected, and they're gonna start collecting, like, add ons and, like, organizing all that soon. The, um, as far as we know, the total backed was um, $551,881, and that's across 5,997 backers. Pretty that's freaking crazy. awesome. It's like a thousand, it's like a, success. Like a hundred bucks a person. That's, yeah. That's some commitments right there. Yeah. The key fandom Good awesome. shit, guys. Good <laughs> shit. Good job, everyone. <laughs> I, 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 that, was, that was a really disappointing clap. <laughs> that was really bad. I'm run that back. Run that back. Alright, three, two, one. Yay! 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 That's better. So yeah, that's um, um pretty freaking awesome, and I am honored to be a part of this community that's just so like dedicated. It's really amazing. <laughs> and. We should I, probably I love that mention, we have a community to talk about it now. Uh, should mention. Yeah, we should that, probably that. mention that they uh, expect delivery in October 2015. So, yeah. s- sometime later this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Send, um, hopefully. The best is that. Go, on. go, go, go. Uh, yeah, the best part is it's just like thinking about it. It's like, man, Clanod's 11 years old in a couple months. <laughs> and it's getting new content. And it's, it's just. They're just racking in half a million dollars like it's nothing. You know? <laughs> it's yeah. like, awesome. Well, to be fair, a lot, a lot of amazing. that, uh, uh, like 100k of that 500 came in like the last week or so. I know. Yeah. After after it was fully funded, all the all the goals and everything, and yep. it's still after just, just the like goals boom, have another you know 150 thousand dollars. That's just how God. Kickstarters work. It's like the first 24 hours and the last, the first 48 yes, hours people. and the last 48 hours are always the most. People must have either just really wanted that manga, or or they were just like, you know what, pulling out all the pennies, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And if so, you didn't uh, back it, it shame Sekai. on you. Earn it. <laughs> Godspeed, Sekai Project. Make Godspeed. it happen. You got all my pennies. Hell yeah, just, you know, like, we've put, we've given you the, all everything you need, just make it happen now. We, we have faith in you. <laughs> so, um... Next, um, I'm going to hand over to Rune Yo. to talk about what you wanted to talk about. All right. So uh, one thing that was recently released um, on New Year's, actually, was the Key Anthology Saxophone Collection by a YouTuber named uh, Japesland. Mm-hmm. And this is a full-length 17-track uh, album which contains saxophone arrangements from 
uh, Canon, Air, Clanad, Planetarian, Little Busters, and Rewrite. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is this is available for free on his uh, website, japesland.wordpress.com. I assume we will have the uh, link here in the podcast yeah. description somewhere. Mm -hmm. But this is a really top-notch um, saxophone arrangement uh, CD. I, I've been listening to it quite a lot. And it's really my favorite My favorite tracks are the... Uh, the rewrite ones. Um, mm. For me, um, theme. Yeah, oh. Anthurium, and um, I also oh, really liked. Um, that was a great, great. Melancholy of a troubled girl. Mm -hmm. I like oh, the yeah. Canon tracks a lot too. I like the whole like, thing, man. More, 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 just, yeah, the whole thing is great. So I've just been tearing that thing apart. It's so good. Like my drive to work. <laughs> like everything is just. There really isn't a lot of, like, high-quality, like, fan works coming out of the Western Key fandom regularly. It's quite an uncommon thing. So, like, whenever we see something like that, we latch onto it and we want to support yeah. that. It's so good, too. Like, I'm, I'm, like, ranking it up there with, you know, Refeel and, and my other, my, my key classics and my other, like, instrumental slash remix, like, stuff. It's just, like, and those are, like, official releases and this is just, it's so good. Jake really Sand, if you're listening, good work, man. Yeah. Take a take like a pat on the back there. <laughs> yeah. And I definitely th hope this means that we're gonna see more of uh, more of the it's music definitely inspired from me. the Western community. Definitely inspired me. Mm. I guess yeah. I guess it all started with that uh, E anniversary fan album that came out a few months ago. Yeah, the um. Those videos have been around for a while. His covers on his channel. And again, that's been around for a while, too. Yeah. All right. Um, so the Seikai Project folks, in parallel with their uh, Kickstarter for Clanad, posted a um, Ask Me Anything thread on the Visual Novels Reddit, where mm -hmm. they were submitting the top ten questions to, um, to the people over at uh, Visual Arts Key to have them answered. And this is a thread where people come in, ask questions, and then on Reddit people can vote things up. Uh, and the results came in literally three days ago. Um, yep. We do have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of interesting responses here. Um, you can we'll also probably have a link to this in the uh, yep. podcast description. Yeah, like I'll be linking to all of the. Um articles and stuff we've already covered. There's a couple of interesting points that I want to highlight um, where they talk about um, why certain char certain uh, writers only stay to write one route for one visual novel and then they depart from to do go off on to do their own thing. Mm. And there's also a lot of um, I guess there's a lot of expectation because it seems like Visual Arts Key is pinning uh, Clanad's English success uh, on their future, uh, yeah. their future ability to release stuff here in the West. Um, somebody asked whether they would be able to uh, make a partnership with Sekai Project in order to have more, I guess, more uh, like simultaneous less, releases. less lag releases. Instead of yeah. us waiting for like over a decade for Clan Ed to get over yeah. here, so I think there's a lot of they've got some pretty high expectations for Clan Ed, and I'm really hoping that this pans out for everyone. Yeah, reminder that uh, just the success of the Kickstarter isn't that's not the money isn't what matters as much as the spreading of the story mm -hmm. and letting it reach people. And, so whenever and, that, uh, whenever that thing comes we, out, we got to spread the word. <laughs> yes. And visual arts also really wants a uh, Sekai project to do a good job with the translation. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. They're going they to be very critical. They want the meaning of the visual novel to be perfectly imparted to the readers. Yeah. Stuff. Definitely what you take from it is it's very insightful that visual arts and key are, are very, they're, they're a business as much as they are a bunch of very passionate people about the work that they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Very There's a lot of pressure. Game. A lot of pressure on Sekai Project to not fuck this Serious up. stuff. <laughs> okay, so next news is Comic Hit. <laughs> so, this has been hell for me. For all of those. Huh? Anyway. The waiting game. <laughs> so, anyway. For all of you guys who've been living under a rock, we had a uh, winter comic at last December 28th to 30, and comic at is the biggest anime themed convention. So anyway, and Visual Arts had their own booth in comic at, and they That's sold a huge, cool bunch of stuff. Like they had a uh, an Operation Wars calendar, Visual Style calendar, uh, key set, a whole bunch of visual arts non-key stuff, and they also and booth, had babes. a new visual... <laughs> yes, booth babe. <laughs> and they also had a visual no... a new visual novel released, which we'll get into later. So, about Comic Cat, well, I was there, and long story short, I waited six hours to buy the stuff. <laughs> You're kind of so a bit I, of a delivery waited... man, right? Yeah. yeah For of. this, we are thankful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still have to send it out by next week anyway. God bless so you. I, I I wait I came in at seven thirty AM just just to give a view of how comic it is like. I came in at seven thirty AM uh, they they I was able to get in by around ten thirty and uh, I went straight to the visual arts line and spent another three hours there. <laughs> so in the visual arts line they gave you an order sheet and they also gave you the visual style calendar which you could read to to you know, not get bored. The magazine. And you, you basically just, yeah, the magazine. And you basically just uh, put in on the order sheet how many of each item you want to order. And um, I'm not sure if it was uh, 10 items per person or 10 of each item that you're allowed. But either way, I only ended up getting 10 items. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Plain and only 10 items. <laughs> Yeah, only ten items, or the other, Which the other averages out to about you know five thousand dollars, <laughs> more or less. So, yeah. so, Pepe, how much did you actually spend at that booth? Uh, forty-four thousand yen. What's that in USD? Uh, a lot. I, the the, the exchange rate is actually no is less. So four hundred, five hundred, like four hundred dollars, probably four hundred, around four hundred bucks, yeah. Anyway, so about the mine. booth, about the booth. Well, like like uh, Biscuit though said, there were there were the girls selling the items were in cosplay and like Angel Beats <laughs> uniforms and really stuff. Really cool uniforms. Yeah, um, they were really cool. Like the Baba pictures. Sort of <laughs> yeah, Baba with his yeah. power. Actually, like when when I went, pink suit. yeah, when I went in, I saw Baba, but I of course when I went in the, I had to go to the line. So afterwards, I went to the line, and by the time it was my turn, Baba was gone. Uh -huh. And uh, one nice, one nice info about the booth is they had like uh, screens and audio playing on top mm. of the booth. And I noticed the one good thing they were advertising was the Clanad International Edition. Mm. So they got the Sekai Project ad, and they translated the info for the Japanese people. So anyone watching would see that hey, Clanad is getting an English version. Hmm. So that that was a nice touch. I, I like that. Yeah, it's like you you'd think they wouldn't care so much in Japan, but they've really been emphasizing that this is a big deal, which they yeah, should really. Planetary and stuff too. Yep. It's those HD assets, man. So oh, I ended up getting like a whole bunch of key sets and uh, holy breakers, and I wasn't able to get the Angel Beats Operation Wars calendar and the Visual Style calendar because those were the first things to sell out. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Want them calendars. And now we go on to our next topic, which is Holy Breaker. Holy Breaker. Wait. Holy so Breaker. We, we, yeah, what? Did you get a chance to see any of the uh, the Dojin key stuff? Uh, no, those those were all on the third day, and I was only in the first day. Aw. Maybe next I, I see. I, I saw a lot of Dojin key stuff in, in uh, key points, so that's all right. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, Holy Breaker. So, we already talked about Holy Breaker a few months ago when it was announced, and uh, it was released in Comic Cat. Mm -hmm. And I was able to get a few copies for a few people who asked me to. And um, what's interesting is the copy of the game also comes with a CD of the OST, so nice. that's a nice touch. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. And as for yeah, the game itself, 
As for the game itself, I, I, I don't know how it is. I haven't seen any reviews, Japanese or English, yet. This has been uh, difficult. I don't know why. I've been, yeah, try- I've been trying be... to get, like, a review or something. Any kind of, like, I know, indication you know, of how it is. asking for people to to tweet about it and use the Holy Breaker hashtag, but I didn't see much. Yeah, so I don't we know. don't have much info on that yet. It's been a decent but... amount of fan art, though. That's true, yeah. As soon as we know but, something, yeah, we'll let you was... know. <laughs> Least and I, I believe Baba said it already sold out in Comic Cat. So yeah, yeah. It's sold out. I don't know if they plan to re-release it. I hope they do. Whether maybe at least digital, so that other people can play it. Yeah. But it seems it's to have been pretty and successful. Exceeded the expectations of Hinoue yep. and Baba. They both were kind of taken aback by how quickly it got swiped up. Mm-hmm. Pretty right. neat. So that's all for the Comic Cat news, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you you had one more thing okay. you wanted to talk about. Yeah. All <laughs> right. So then our next our next segment will be all about a huge slew of announcements, which was announced on the the key Aniplex live stream on December twenty two. Mm-hmm. So and beyond. All, but yeah. all of us guys from Kazumatsuri tuned in during that live stream and basically watches all of the shitload of news unfolded. <laughs> so I guess we can start with one of the more and minor news. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Key is having to celebrate their 15th anniversary, the Key 15th Fest, and ba- basically what's gonna happen here it's is it's it's a simultaneous event. Uh, on one side, they're gonna be having a a new KSL Live World for 2015. Yeah. And... Get hyped for that. <laughs> Hype indeed. Yeah. And on the other hand, they they will also be having a a Bell sale. Well, it's it's kind of like an event where they where they'll be selling uh, a few different key stuff, and they'll also be having like uh, like info about stuff. And I'm not yep. exactly sure, but it's it's kind of like a shop slash uh, exhibition thing. Mm. So for the KSL Live World, uh, we have Kitazawa Ayaka Tadaoi. Marina, Lisa, Leah, and more. And you, so you forgot it, to mention that it's um it's Angel Beats themed this time. Ah uh, yeah, it's it's Angel wait, Beats. It's called KSL theme. Live World. Wait to the Angel Beats first. I'm so sad that I can't be there. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> the dream concert. So f- dude. for those oh for God. those who want to buy buy a ticket to Japan, it's on Mar uh, April 11 and April 12. So it's a two day concert. Mm-hmm. Imagine if there's and, like Lisa and there. Uh, God, it'd be ridiculous. Yep. 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 It's I'm I'm hyped for this. I, I hope I I can buy a ticket Marina. and I hope it doesn't sell out too too quickly. Anyway. <laughs> and for the Akiba base, oh yeah, the venue is in uh Differ Ariake, and I checked it's actually near Big Site. Mm-hmm. Anyway. And for the next uh, event, the the Bell Sale, it'll be happening in uh Akiba base, which is in Akihabara, and it's on the same day, on April 11 and April 12. So if you can't go to one, you can always go to. If you can't go to the live world, you can always go to the the bell sale. And yeah, you'd assume that'd be there, timed up. You'd assume that you'd assume that'd be timed up so you can go to both, surely. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you could technically go because the bell sale starts at like uh, noon and 10 a.m. on Sunday, yeah. so you could go to the one. You could go to it for like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then go go on to uh, differ to watch the concert. That's yeah, that's at night then, isn't mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's at uh, the Saturday concert starts at uh, 7 p.m. Yeah, up to 10 so. p.m. And so you'd, you'd spend your time at, at the 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You'd spend your time at Akiba Base and then check out the concert at night. That'd be a freaking awesome weekend if anyone could make it. Man, um, that so cool. Like I said, I really hope I can get a ticket for the KSL Live World, even if at least one go, day. Please do share your experience on our website. Yeah, of definitely. Course. Let us know. Um, so we can all be jealous. Yeah. Um, so this might be a good time to mention oh. um, Link's news. Unless you have anything else you want to say, Pepe. No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, cool. So... Let's be honest, there, there wasn't really a lot of news this month. Nothing really exciting <laughs> happened. <laughs> He's just not giving much to us. But, 
because they realized that there hasn't been much news this month, they decided to drop Harmonia, which they unveiled in <laughs> the new Dengeki G's magazine. So Harmonia is a kinetic novel because Planetarium was cool, and they're releasing it for their 15th anniversary. Yeah. Uh, the setting is about humans who live in a world that's it's ruined, it's destroyed, and they're living together with artificial humans who have fake memories, and these artificial humans are called pheroids. Mm -hmm. And our protagonist is one of these pheroids who goes on a journey, and he meets up with two girls, and he ends up gaining emotions from them. Since he is one of the pheroids, I guess we can assume they don't really have any emotion of their own. Yeah. One of the girls is called TP, and the description for her is that a, she is a girl all alone, crying in the depths of the library. So, uh, we have the, I guess, depressed girl character, in contrast to the next girl, who is Shiona, who's described as a kind girl who smiles indiscriminately at other people, and she offers her help to the protagonist. So they, it's they're really going with the I guess night and day, light and dark sort yeah. of themes around here. Yeah. Like if it's all about like emotions, then we got like the the polar opposites of happy and sad right there. Yeah, yeah. It's probably gonna be deep. <laughs> I, I I hope it's I hope gonna so. be deep. I want I want some more planetarian level storytelling here. I want something really cool like that. Are um, the girls the meant game? to be pheroids, or are they humans? Was that I believe they're humans. I'm going to assume they are, just because they have emotion, and yeah. our pheroid protagonist doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. However, luckily for you, more information about the game is going to be coming out at the upcoming Akiba Base events, which is going to be held in Belasol Akihabara on yeah, the as... 11th and 12th. Yeah, as we just mentioned. Hasse, all right. Yeah. <laughs> the 11th to 12th of April, 2015. Yeah, yeah that's the one we we're just and, talking about. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, there's, oh, like, well. speculation floating around they might actually be releasing the game at this event. It's not too clear at this point. Like, maybe we'll just be getting more information, or maybe they'll that's actually be releasing the game. Speculation. That'd be yes. crazy if they put it out so soon. That would be yeah. Nuts. So, we're not sure yet, but, um, we'll be sure to let you know once that becomes more clear. Oh, and also the game is going to have art by Itaro Hinoe and music mm -hmm. by Shinji Orito. Yeah. Do we know? Yeah. We don't. We don't know who's writing for it yet, know. do we? No, no we, we do don't. Not. We don't. That's nope. interesting. But um, it's almost. I'm, I'm betting on either. Yuto Tonokawa. I was just about to say it would be so interesting if Tonokawa got like his own story, like because he's like, he's the new he's new blood, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's M he's one of the regulars of Key. And yeah. he hasn't been doing anything recently, so I I kind of hope it's him. Like Kashida Leo is working on um reading up that he was the uh, Midas protege. Yeah, like Kashida Leo is working on um Angel Beats at the Holy moment. Breaker. He's also young. And, and Holy Baba was like in that Q and A. Baba was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I was how just about like to say in the Q and A they mentioned young blood. Yep. Unless there's any chance of someone new that we don't know about yet. Hmm. Don't know. Let the uh, speculation we will find out go. later. Yeah, yeah. we'll I'm find out. I'm very excited for more news about I that because that sounds very interesting. I'm just really excited uh, that they're going back to the uh, the kinetic novel format because yeah, we like we, I prefer the the small bite sized stuff to these gigantic long million hour. Man, we were novels. just saying. Yeah, just saying. Whenever we did the Planetarium podcast and all that stuff, man, we were just saying that. That we liked that format, we thought it was a good idea, and that it, it's sad that it didn't really like take off. And then, bam, we get, you know, kind of, sort of something going on with Holy Breaker. Now we get, you know, the official key VN coming out, you know, with Angel Beats and stuff. It's just so interesting. Mm -hmm. Clearly, oh, key there. listen to our podcast. <laughs> yeah, man. Ooh. Also, it's a. Uh, it seems like it's an official rule now that kinetic novels have to be uh, set in post-apocalyptic settings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a rule now. <laughs> I ain't complaining. Fun. So, um, Biz, now we're going to move on to your part of the... <laughs> yeah, I said Angel's Beats in that last sentence. We haven't been talking about it until now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not, not a lot to talk about, you know, just like Link said. Um, 
So, yeah, anyways. So if the entire slew of information that we have just been piling and piling on here hasn't uh, been indicative of anything, um, Angel Beats got a visual novel. Um, it did. No way! way. What? <laughs> what? And, uh, we already did this joke. <laughs> and, uh, Yuri committed suicide. And, um, Damn it! Don't spoil it. So, at that event that Pepe was talking about earlier, whenever they did the live stream and they gave out a whole bunch of information and stuff, there was a PV um, as part of that presentation uh, because it was heavily Angel Beats themed, and then Charlotte just kind of took everything over by storm. Um, hey, we haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Everyone knows about it. But anyways, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> there was a, there was a PV released, and uh, surprise, surprise, this PV, while also talking about some other things that we already know about, like, you know, it's visual novel and it's not an anime, which has kind of been one of their main marketing points, mm-hmm. um, and things are different in the VN. Um <laughs> They went ahead and were just like, oh, by the way, First Beat's releasing May 29th, 2015. Yeah, finally got a release oh, yeah. date. So, bam! Finally. Hell, hell it's yeah. happening. Um, Out of development, so that's freaking sweet. <laughs> um, so they dropped that, and uh, that's just one little bit of the tons and tons and tons of news that has come out about Angel Beats in the past month. It's been so um, much. Like, no one's so translating much. it. And it's, it's so hard. hard for us to keep up with it because it just keeps coming. Yep. Um, there's, like, tweets with information coming out. There's blogs. There's magazines. There's interviews. It's just completely bonkers how much news is coming out. Um, yeah. Um, we can't keep like, up, just, basically. Just to, like, kind of quickly blaze through all the stuff, like, that that came with that uh, that event. Um, first off, the VN's going to have a new OP. Guess what? It's by Maida. Guess what? Leah's singing it. Guess what? It's called Heartily Song, which is a weird name, but hey, it's going to be the name. Um, which is amazing, because, dude, I like my Soul Your Beats. It's a good song and everything, but we need something fresh to bring in the new new, because it's a visual novel, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's happening. Um, uh, Marina is back. If you didn't know, uh, yeah. during Comic Cat, they uh, released no a little album Lisa, with, some, with some. Uh, <clears throat> uh, they released a little album with like some acoustic stuff, which is really cool. But then they're just like, oh, by the way, we're gonna release a new single, and it's gonna be called Million Star, and it's gonna come with your pre-orders. Which, by the way, pre-orders for the VN are opening on the 30th of January. Um, and they are 7,500 yen, I think. Um, so yeah, there's uh, there's that. And it's Marina themed, focused. She's singing on it. It's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. And then they also announced that uh, the anime that happened, you know, by uh, PA Works, that, that little thing that kind of went places, <laughs> uh, is getting, it's being, I, I don't even know if it's over or not, or, or yet, or whatever. Uh, got rebroadcasted. They showed it on Nico like yeah. three episodes directly after the event, and uh, they also put together a BD box made out Blu-ray goodness. Um, yeah. That's going to cost you a lot of money. I'm not <laughs> even going to say the number because it's a lot. It's actually not that bad relative to other BD boxes, but it's still a lot for uh, Angel Beats. But, yeah. uh, and it also comes with a new OVA and stuff. So yeah, man. Brand new OVA. Angel Beats. <laughs> All the angel beats, man. I can't even hold all these beats. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's just what was released at that event. Um, they released like a whole bunch of other stuff, like little tiny things too. Like uh, uh, they talked about the there's a magazine with like a June Maida interview, and he talked about some like root description stuff, like the Masami root's gonna make your heart explode or something like that. Yeah. Um, and like Machida's a funny guy, and Yui's born. No, I mean, um. Uh, Yui's route is like only Hinata focused because they don't like having fun and anyways uh, Come on. yeah it's, it's just interesting <laughs> there's lots and lots of stuff they even talked about the format man the format that everyone's been always just like how the hell is this VN even supposed to work um, yeah it's it's going to be just your straight up kind of regular route format man you're going to have you're going to go through route and then you're going to get your ending and your little song and you're going to cry and like 
maybe things will happen, maybe things won't happen, but then guess what? You're going to go back to the beginning and you're going to start over again and you're not going to be able to do that route again. And they're not necessarily um, going to disappear happen. after you finish that route either. Spoilers, dude. That's not a spoiler. Spoilers, That's dude. news. It's not a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I was just playing. Anyway. But yeah, like, that's... It's just so... Oh, man, it feels good to finally know some stuff. Yeah. But, uh... Dude, it's just nuts. It's just, like, nuts. check so out the wasn't... articles. And, um, Abyss uh, is hopefully going to, like, summarize all that information into the, um, details topic, the oh, speculation I topic. Will. It's going to happen. Just, yeah. you see, what happened was, like, they kept releasing more stuff while I was trying to write it, and then I would have to change stuff, and I'm just like, damn it. <laughs> Welcome to my damn, life. Like, every other day, there's some new news that I'm coming home to. Looking at my phone, I'm just like, oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so far, our, our major sources of news are the Maeda interviews from both the Dengeki G's magazine and the Visual Style magazine. Yeah. Those yeah, yeah. are our major sources. And second-hand so, accounts of the <laughs> Yep. I think I've pulled your ears we can't on the that read one. The whole yeah. Interview. So if you don't mind, I might just take the reins for a second and talk about Charlotte, the um, new Yay! anime series by Key and PA Work. What was that noise? Is that snoring? Mate, are you snoring? Hello? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, I was this dreaming about the angel lines. beats. <laughs> <laughs> mate, mate, you need to get hyped for this. Bro. You need it's to get hyped for this. Mate. Like, I'll um, take you right now. Like, they've been really clever about the marketing. Like, the first thing that was announced, it was, um, on that stream with all the angel beats info. And, um,. First thing we got was just an image, basically, and some like neat, silhouette like, chan. like like electronic music. Oh yeah, silhouette chan came before that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a silhouette, and uh, but like after that, the first thing we got was just an image of this girl, like and the camcorder and the stars, and that's about all we know. Um, but the news has started coming with like the um, Dengeki G's magazine and the Visual Star magazine, and so it's like. So we know there's going to be four characters, four, no, there's four main characters, because Junmei was, um, yeah. was talking about how, like, the cast of Angel Beat was way too spread out, and they, like, couldn't focus on so many, it's like, it became too hard to follow, and, like, they're basically, like, emphasizing how they're trying to learn from the mistakes of Angel Beats, and work it into a much better production with this one. We don't know how long it's going to be, I'm hoping for two cores, but, um... Yeah, we don't know for sure, but um, it, it's all it's all coming clear. So we got um, the the cast is going to be huge. It's going to have more characters than Angel Beats, but they're not all going to be important. Like the story's going to focus on our main protagonist, our main heroine, and two other characters who share um, like they're all in a group in the student disciplinary. No, not disciplinary. The um student council, okay. whatever you call it. Are we sure that the four main characters are remember, all student council? I remember there I were, believe it was so, the yeah. four main characters, yeah. and I think they said like two were in the student council, and then there was one other one other that was like in the band that's also in there. I don't know about the fourth. Like I didn't it's, even know there were four. To be it's honest. we still don't have uh, concrete info right. on that. Yeah, so a lot of this is just like we're we're going through the information from the magazine and translating it with our poor Japanese knowledge. So yeah. there is possibility of information to care. So, um, none of this is 100%, but, um, we have an so air we're, still date yet. we're still trying to figure all that out. Please understand. They Please don't understand. have an air date? Okay, R regarding the air date, it's sometime in 2015, they didn't say, but, uh, in the key calendar, it, the, so the key calendar that came with the key set in Comic Cat has a Charlotte, Charlotte part, and the Charlotte part is in, uh, uh July, was it? Uh, oh. Oh. Interesting yeah. speculation. Yeah, it, it it the key calendar shows Charlotte on June and July, so it's my personal speculation that it'll be in summer 2015. Yes, okay. Yeah, I, I I'm down for this because theory. I would I I would love it if my calendar shows Char Charlotte and every week I'm marking when Charlotte will That's be. That's also <laughs> right after right after Angel Beats hits. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, that fits perfectly. All right, that's my new headcanon. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Yeah, I didn't know that. Thanks for sharing that, Pepe. <laughs> yeah. 
so um yeah I this whole student council thing I'm not 100 percent sure but my impression was that they're all members of the student council. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> um, but we we know there's going to be two bands that are like Girls Dead Monster. So not just one but two. That's pretty crazy to think about. Like we all know Maida loves there's gonna his be lots music. Of music. Yeah. Biz, like, you were talking about this. Like how, um, so you, 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 you take the reins a bit. Talk about the um, band. I'm just really excited because, um, I guess not many people know. I mean, I guess a decent amount of key fans know, but June Maida is an absolute music nut, and he's the best. <laughs> um, the dude absolutely loves music and, uh, and likes to, to use it wherever he can, and, uh, in his, uh, I don't know if it's high school or his like university or, or whatever days. I'm not 100% on it. I think but it was high uh, whenever school. he was in school, he was in school. Um, he did write a lot of music, um, and he just hasn't been able to really use all of it or, or, or do certain things with it. So parts of uh, I don't know if it's all or, or some of the songs, but uh, some songs that he wrote in his late childhood days are uh, going to be what he uses in this anime. Yeah, really interesting. That's a very interesting um, point. Um, he said how, like, for one of the bands, he's composing and writing lyrics, and for the other band, he is writing lyrics, but someone else is composing. I believe that's how it went. Yep. So, like, uh, yeah, I believe that's correct. So, yeah, he's, he's all in charge of, like, the lyrics and stuff, and um, he's going to be writing, like, the opening and composing the opening, I think he said, and a bunch of insert songs. Yep. So that's really cool. Which is amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, um... We still have no idea what the story is going to be about. Like, all we really uh, know is except that... Except it's in the student council, yeah. So we have our two main characters. Um, the protagonist is um, a boy named Ots- Otosaka Yu. And um, he... All we know about him is that he is a bit manipulative. Like, he so seems to, like, cheat his way through tests, I think it was established. Mm. Um, more or less. So, like, He's an honor student because he cheats. Less. Yeah. yeah. He's an honor student, but how in the world he's an honor student is unknown because Yeah. And this is and... by the text, apparently he's quote unquote stupid. It's not a very good TL, but that's kind a of A lot of that's... people think a lot of people are already speculating that he's magic or an alien. <laughs> he's an alien. This is a space alien, man. Yeah, um and he has a bit of a um sadistic side, we've been told. And um our mm-hmm. heroine our main heroine, um the now... narcissist. Tomorrow now, um, our main heroine. So she's yeah. like, um, she's pretty much the ideal student council person. Just like, yeah, she's like really, she she seems like uptight and like very like strong willed and firm on the rules. But she also seems to little be a little bit narcissistic. So that's interesting. Mm. Like, um, she she's also always has a hard time keeping keeping control of all those ruffians. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so she's, like, a little bit stoic, I think it was also said. Yeah. Like, a lot of people were worried that she was going to be a lot like Kanade, but um, this doesn't seem to be the case. Like, she seems to be quite different. And I'm really liking the sounds of these characters. Like, haven't, Same here. I haven't really had a sadistic key protagonist. Like, we've had protagonists that will make fun of, like, characters and, like, have a lot of, you know, sarcastic yeah, humour. But... Wait, was yes. it sadistic or narcissistic? Sadistic. Did I say narcissistic? Okay. No, narcissistic. Earlier. No, um, now is the narcissistic one. Um, oh, okay, you, I you is the sadistic one. Yeah, so... S and S. Not S and M, S and S. But yeah, these sound very interesting, like... If this was Maeda's baby right now, then hell yeah, I'm all for it. Um, if like, it's really you know, interesting because we... like they're both kind of they don't sound perfect. Which I mean, I guess that's kind of one of the Maeda things is that everyone kind of has their their faulty side. But these characters sound kind of questionable. I don't know. It's really interesting. Yeah. Um, and I'm in- I'm very interested to see like how they're. Um, because of how they are, what their actual interactions are going to be like, mm. there should be some peculiar scenarios with characters like this. Um, as far as to like what the actual tone of the story yeah. is going to be, because like 
I mean, he already said, though, that it's going to be, like, the ha-ha funny key, and that it's going to be all feelsy and stuff. Yeah. But it's like, it's, it's just a another, like he said yeah. it's going to be your your usual key story. Hmm. So, but, like, and we got, like, the bit of, like, enigma surrounding the camcorder, which keeps appearing, and ah, yes. she's... We, she seems to be recording the stars for some purpose. We're still figuring that out. It, it's pretty much a guessing game until the anime airs, but... um. Yeah, yeah, consider me. If, if I can space. add in something, there's a lot of interesting yeah, space can... imagery. Yeah, mm. I was about to say. Uh, uh, if one main theme seems to be the stars in all the artwork we've seen of Charlotte, yeah. we have the stars like in a window, in the reflection on the lake, and the stars being shown on the camcorder. Yeah. So, if like there's something, shadow. something has to do with the stars really and the and the sky. Yeah, in that first little like uh, the first artwork thing of her where she's like sitting down and like her shadow i guess for lack of a better way to put it is like stars and stuff yeah and the cam- camcorder is pointing at her but the camcorder shows stars yeah, that's you don't see kind her, of you see stars. mind fuck thing it's pretty amazing how much Wacky like man. thought they put into yeah, that one like promotional this, image this looking glass type thing going on yeah i'm really hoping for something like really interesting there but yeah so that's my hype at the moment um, and I think that about wraps up all of the news. Like, you can't say that isn't a massive amount of news this month. Like, yep, we're we can't like keep up. <laughs> just came out of oh, nowhere. That's true. Yeah. It came out of nowhere. Key and now Key like is back in. Lips sealed. Back they didn't even world. say they were working on a new project. Mm-hmm. And suddenly, okay, new project. Here you go. <laughs> Insane. Like, if there's anything you can take from this, guys, man, it feels good to be a key fan right yep. now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 2015, definitely. I'm glad Kazumatsuri.org exists right now. It's the perfect time for it. <laughs> All the speculation man, happening. The, this is the perfect moment. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I might just shift the focus there now to, um, the community stuff going on. So, I've talked about all the key news. Now, we're going to shift things back to, um, the Kazumatsuri.org community. So, um, I'm gonna humble it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Tony. So we've <laughs> humble brag. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> what we've got, yeah, as I was just saying, we got the um speculation thread for Charlotte, which has been one of my favorite topics to get into right now, because as soon as we got that promotional video, everyone's been all over it. Just like, oh, what do the stars mean? What is, you know, what's the camcorder? What's she recording? And like, best part is, of that video is the music. Is, is it aliens? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a big question. <laughs> it's aliens, which is nuts because we've we've had you know rewrite. We've had our uh, fantasy. Where's the sci-fi man? Yeah. Well, that's planetarian. <laughs> Fair enough. <Yeah. laughs> but more sci. And now Harmonia. That's your more sci-fi. Yeah, that's very so sci-fi. We're, we're getting these sci-fi stories coming out. Yeah, it's really cool. And so that's one topic I've been right into um we've also got the um who is your favorite key character and why topic just kind of came out of nowhere like uh, we haven't had many topics like that and like i really want to try and open that up personal I still opinion. need to dig into that more man i put like my i did like my basic posts and i never actually went back and mm-hmm. filled it out like i want to start going into individual games like who's your favorite canon character and who's your favorite protagonist and stuff like that like, go into a little bit more depth, because, like, that stuff, like, opens up heaps of discussion. So and then we can actually, like, take that and then start discussing the character over in the character discussion threads. It's a nice yeah. little nice little movement there. Yeah, so that's definitely something I want to get into in the next few months. Um, and topping off that, we've actually recently figured out that we do have the ability to make polls and we just never realized. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Discourse! <laughs> Thanks, Discourse, for letting us know. This is our new Space Age forum software for you. <laughs> it's like, I don't think More a day sci-fi. goes by where we don't just go, wait, we can do that? <laughs> <laughs> so we also opened okay. up a topic asking what your favorite key series is, and that's a poll, but it also doubles as a Little Busters topic. is just dominating. Yeah. Which, like, Angel Beat's got a few hits from some people, and, um, it like, is. all of them got some hits. But, um, I did not vote for Angel Beats, man. I, I voted for Little Busters. Yeah. <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, the little bus. Planetarian didn't get any hits. No planetarian. Nobody voted no for Planetarian. Well, Charlotte is coming up. I must have so. missed the thread. Let me go vote for Planetarian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, knew it. I was saying, I was like, I was saying before, I was like, I wonder what Link voted for, because he would totally vote for Planetarian. Fuck yeah. If I could find it. <laughs> just search, just search discourse just for search favorite. function. Yeah, yeah. I'm using it now. <laughs> so, um, a lot of, a couple Live of other, posting. a couple of other topics worth mentioned would be the, um, Little Buster's minigame discussion. That's been pretty fun. <laughs> just like getting into like all the like technical details of like the baseball and all that i'd love to get like oh yeah i might just mention here like i wasn't planning on it but i recently discovered that um forum member rinchi has um her own little busters fan site called was it little litbus.net I'll, I'll put a link in the description but um basically like just includes a bunch of random things from little busters like <laughs> she's got the kiosuke's one question one answer like all of that listed on there and oh, she oh has like she has every title that you can get in the battle mini game listed. <laughs> oh, it's, awesome! It's just like a database of random, cool little key <laughs> little busters things. Oh yeah, like, you're right. I'm, I'm looking I at never, it now. It's so cool. I never knew this existed until now, so I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't notice. But that a really cool little time waster, or like just if you want to look something up, it's like really neat. So just like shout outs to Rinchi for making that. It's like really cool. Um. But yeah, so we've got some little bus discussion happening. Um, we also got a new category added to the forum recently, which we've called, we've, we've dubbed Guild. It would have been originally called Lounge in Thank Discourse you. default. But um, yeah, we call it Guild because, hey, we're a key forum. I'd like to note <laughs> yeah. that it had absolutely nothing to do it's with secretly it being underground. the Guild. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with the Literally, the only purpose of the category is to basically... Yes be a place for the inner circle of the forum to hang out and um how that works is if you have a certain trust level on the forums like you've posted enough and viewed enough recently like you don't have to be like super into it you just need to be a bit active then you'll be able to gain access to the guild category and then you can just like check out some of the more personal threads that we've got going at the moment that are like mm. like yes yeah, it's just a lot more personal are all about that <laughs> because we are friends, Matt Zuri, and we yeah. have, you know, eight-hour Skype calls on a daily basis where we just hang out. <laughs> I wish I could actually get a chance to just join one of those, but you always have them at, uh, when I'm at school. <laughs> Time zone. So good. But, um, love this place. <laughs> so we even had, like, a Christmas topic going when Christmas was happening. It's like, what are you doing on Christmas? What, how do you celebrate Christmas in your pile of world? And that was really interesting. Yeah, like, we were talking about, you know, what they were doing with their families, what they were going to eat. Yeah, I, I, just, you know, I, little fun <laughs> stuff, you know. I learned some different, like, like traditional foods for Christmas from different parts of the world that I didn't know about before. Yeah, that was fun. All uh, through key. How <laughs> cool is that? Uh, Pepe, did you, did you have the, so um, cool. Pepe, did you have the, the KFC when you were in Japan for Christmas? Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> KFC for Christmas Eve dinner. Kentucky Christmas. Apparently, some cultures Kentucky have Christmas, like two yes. Christmas dinners. <laughs> they don't even like celebrate Christmas. That's so crazy. <laughs> awesome. And we also like a recent it. topic that's been really like warm fuzzy has been the what does Kazumatsu dot org mean to you? Oi. This hmm? is man. Do you want to talk about this? Oh yeah. All right. I'll leave you to talk about this one. Yeah. All right, man. So if you guys listen to that Planetarian podcast, you remember when I was all like, what does Planetarian mean to you? And then I got all deep and down into my soul and shared all my thoughts. Um, Dude, yeah, basically we don't have take credit here. for that. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> we have a... We have a <clears throat> excuse me, I'm speaking. <laughs> we, have a, we have a topic. Topic. Um, that is, what does KazumatZuri.org mean to you? Um, and... It's just really cool, like, because we're coming up on a year here, man, pretty close. For, what was it, February? I think Valentine's February, Day is our anniversary. <laughs> like that. <That's> fun. <laughs> it's <laughs> just a funny thing all in of itself. Um, yeah, like, it's just a really fun topic to, to kind of go in and, I guess, reflect a little bit 
about uh, since joining us and and uh, spending time with us and just kind of having fun and going through events and talking about things. What uh, it's it's kind of like a, a nice little list of. It almost feels like a, a success, you know. It's like reading through it, you're just like, "This is exactly what we wanted going in, and it's what we're yeah. getting." It's so awesome. I'm so happy um, that everyone has a place to go as a key fan that is, you know, quality and is just full of good people, and it's it's just great. Yeah. If if you like, if you're a member of the forum and you like you like the people here, just take that a quick look in the guild category, like. It'll make you feel warm inside. <laughs> yeah, it's like we've Aww. all had our experiences up to this point, and more people keep joining, and we get more regulars in our calls and in our events, and it just keeps going and going. And you're just going to keep building upon those experiences. And it's just like whenever you look at the front page of our site, you know, it's like, let's make good memories together, y'all. Like, let's, let's go. And that's exactly what we're doing. And it's I so love good. that. <laughs> Yeah, it's so, really cool. And um, so we're, we're nearing the end of our podcast now. I just um, be- I forgot to, to Ika, by the way, hmm? for making that topic. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Ika. Good yeah, job. Yeah, Really good idea. <laughs> so um, I forgot to mention earlier. We also have the key Oikake is still going relatively strong. Um, I don't know if we mentioned it last podcast. So it's basically a, a thing where you just I think we did. I think we did mention it. Yeah, we talked about it. We did. Yeah. We did, so, yeah. yeah. It's starting to die down a little bit, but it's still there. It's still hanging in. At the moment, like, they've changed the rules a little it bit. It goes so by per character basis, really. It's like two or three topics at a, at a time now. So people can draw about whatever yeah, they, they want. they revamped it. I finally got my Suganami up there. <laughs> got at least two <laughs> yeah, good arts. Yeah, Suganami. By that <laughs> amazing artist who also did the Koshiki art, which was also oh, amazing. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Shout out to um Seiyun or something. L- let me double check that. But yeah, there will um, be a link in this the person <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> like it's a, one of the, like really standout artists of the Kyo Akaki I've noticed. Like they've done like a really amazing like Koshiki art and they did like an art of like the cheap tricks scene from Little Busters and it's really cool. <laughs> um Tabanda! it's a K- Korean guy or girl. Um and I, I like I mentioned them on Twitter. Like, yeah, we've, we've been noticing you. You're really cool. <laughs> and um, so yeah, that that's a thing. Definitely like check out all the art that's happened over the last month because there've been some really standout gems that I can't even mention. Mm. Like, there's been so many. But yeah, so that's awesome. Um, any other little things anybody want to bring up before I start to bring this to a close? Uh, did you mention the May games thread? Not that there's a whole lot to mention, but yeah, we have one we now. Oh, God. The what? Yeah, we talked about mini games. Mini games, yeah. Yeah, I talked about that. Oh, that's which right. was also oh, apparently right. um, six hundred and sixty six thing made. It's like there's um, current. The person, the Twitter meant person was like H Suyun. I I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, that's the person. Um, I'll put a link uh, in the description because yeah, they're we awesome. link it in the cha- uh, description. Yeah, yep, just because yep. I think they're awesome and they deserve a mention. <laughs> Favoritism! 9SCP is really good too. <laughs> so yeah, um, just before we wrap up, I'd like to make an announcement. We what? will be... Yes, I am... Um, Surprise! I'd like to officially announce that we'll be starting the Air Book Club from the 9th of February. Oh! <gasps> <Da-da-da-da. laughs> Finally! After a long, long time. Yep. So, um, I'll just announce the dates right now. So, I've got the common route. We're going to be giving its own section because we decided, yeah, we want to do this right and not do it too quickly. So, the common route will be going from the 9th of February to the 22nd of February. Um, you might notice a pattern. All of these are going to be, like, two-week blocks for each route. And we're going to spend, you know, those two weeks. We'll do, um... A podcast episode at the end of those two weeks, um, just like as we do with the Planetarian Book Club, maybe a little bit shorter, just covering that route and everything we thought about it. And during those two weeks, you'll be um, directed to the discussion topic where you'll be able to discuss everything, and then we'll bring that into the podcast, and it'll be really cool. So the first is um, the common route from the 9th of February to the 22nd of February. 
Then we've got the Kano route we're going to be doing first from the 23rd of February to the 8th of March. Then we're going to be doing the Minagi route from the 9th of March to the 22nd of March. The Misuzu route from the 23rd of March to the 5th of April. The Summer route from the 6th of April to the 19th of April. And the Air route from the 20, 20th of April to the 3rd of May. So it's going to be going all the way from the the start of February to the start of May, basically. So it's it's a 12-week book club. It's going to be a long grind. It's going to be a lot bigger because, like, the Planetarium book club was pretty much just mm. a big test for this, main, the more meaty visual novel book clubs. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much going to be the focus of our community for the next couple of, couple of months, really. Um, I hope you're as excited Get for as I no Uta's ready. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> I've actually... I've actually never read Air, so I'm going to be going yeah, into this. I. Well, I've seen the anime, Roman so I know what never happens, I. unfortunately. Roman set. But um, <laughs> what I've been told by everyone is that the visual novels are like ten times better. So I'm like really yes. excited to d- dig very, into that. Very good in comparison or, to the anime. Yeah. So um, I hope you're excited for that. Um, I'm going to be hyping yeah, that I, up a lot. I'm excited, definitely. Super are you guys? Are you guys going to be like participating? Like, if, if not on the forum, then, like, would you be I'm, interested in joining the podcast? I don't know. I want to be it, on man. the podcast. See me okay. in that Minagi route, no, son. Um, can I be on Kana? Same here. I need to get myself a copy of Air. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, confirm man. who's going to be on the podcast yet. Um, on that note, we, um... Oh, it's with, cheap. It's with, really cheap. With not only oh, Air, cheap. with not only the, the Air Book Club, but also the Monthly Terror, we're still going to be doing that. We're going to be holding some auditions because I want to like mix up the cast a little bit. Like this, these fine people I've had with me this, the last three or four podcasts. I think it's three now. We've done for the monthly terror. Well, this is, this is only with... my first monthly terror. <laughs> Wait, really? I've not been, I've not I've been, I've not been available. Been for, yeah, uh, oh, Rune has just available. been busy all the time. Yeah. So I've been, been able to make it. And, and, but, and, um... and in the future, um, like, Saturday yeah, nights are no place. no longer a go because of school. <laughs> yeah. But um like you guys have all been fantastic. Like I'm very happy with selecting you all for the podcast. Like Link no, Thinks is no. um I, lo- I, I, I love Link Thinks <laughs> charisma. He he brings a lot to the podcast and um Pepe nice. has like Pepe is very knowledgeable and he like lives in Japan so he has that first hand experience. <laughs> I love that. And Rune is just like Yeah. I know. I, I lo- <laughs> I just love like you're you're very like um very very cerebral. You like you kind of bring that aspect to like the podcast. So I appreciate that. And um, Biz, of I course, like Biz is just Biz. He's awesome. He's a hype train. <laughs> <laughs> the hype train. He's the, yeah, planetary the hype train. train. He, he just brings <laughs> energy to everyone, and I love that. Yeah. But um, <laughs> chances are Biz will stay around because he's a moderator and my second hand hmm. man. But as for the rest of you, maybe some of you will be back in future episodes. I'm not sure yet. We're basically going to be holding a new like audition process for the podcast. So everybody listening to this, Try this out. is your chance to get involved. We're looking for people that are you know chariz- charismatic you. and you know knowledgeable about key and passionate and like have a good mic. <laughs> and if you're not, Which you're going to like the block. Practically all of you. So. <laughs> but- Step up to the plate. Come if you, on. If you have a sexy voice, then that'll definitely get your priority too. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. So yeah, like um, we're holding auditions for both the monthly terror and the air book club podcast. So if you're interested in either of those, um, we're going to have a topic up for you so you can post your interest and we'll work from there. Um, preference going to be to like I'm def or not preference like I'm definitely looking for new talent because we hold had the auditions for the the podcast last time before planetarium but um if there's someone new that i haven't heard before then i'm definitely like interested to hear you um if you have auditioned already then you're still welcome to audition again um like it's been a long time so since (laughs) i may have like i've lost my notes that i wrote down for everybody (laughs) so like (laughs) like you've also had more time to be with us so you can be much more upfront and yeah so yeah, like if you've been in those if you've been in those group calls whenever we're playing games and stuff, then you got it. You got it. You good. Just join. Come, come join us. Yeah, pretty much. If your name starts with a B and ends with an S. Calling you out. The only thing is, with the book club, your commitment is basically I want 
I'm really hoping for people that can stay through the whole time. We might have some people jumping in and out, like for maybe one route if they really like want to talk about that one. Or like, yeah, we might have like one route specialist per episode, I'm thinking. But um, I'm definitely looking for people who are willing to stay around for 12 weeks that we do it and do those mm. six episodes of the podcast. Um, if you can't, like, if you think you might not be able to make all of them, then that's okay. Like, we, we are obviously like, people that um, are very interested then we want to get them on but like if you can't be there because of unex- you know like unexpected circumstances then that's fine like we'll get like six or so people so we have enough of a buffer that if someone isn't available on the day then we'll still be able to progress but yeah like so your commitment would be to be active like on as much of the episodes as you can you'd be reading through the vision novel and taking notes of each route so we can discuss it like we did in the planetarium book club and um so yeah just like if you're interested in air and you want to be involved let me know because this is a big deal this is like kazamatsuri.org's big thing mm-hmm. our main event i like to think of it as so get hyped it's happening and it's happening soon uh, Man, I'm, I'm even more hyped for when the for when planet is released and we make a book club for that yeah yeah, yeah. this is gonna be perfect <laughs> <laughs> We've got lots of time before then, though, so we can fit in a book club, maybe yep. two. <laughs> Little teaser. So yeah, um, I have a request. Yeah. Can I do the sign off? Go ahead. I'm done. Yes. We all give. All right. <clears throat> all right, listeners. This has been your Kazumatsuri Monthly Terra, starring your host Aspirity, myself, Biscuit Dough. Link thinks Pepe and Rune Devros. Stay a classic, Kazumatsuri. Oh shit, I forgot to stop.